Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's TPM5, and today I'm going to talk about the trade rumors surrounding Damian Lillard and a, a move to the Miami Heat. So, as you guys know, Bill was traded to the Phoenix Suns, but the Miami Heat were heavily linked with that trade, but decided to pass up on, on it, and all things point to the team uh, trading or looking to trade for Damian Lillard, and with Dame making it clear, according to Chris Haynes, that if the team doesn't trade pick three, he could very well request out. A deal surrounding Damian Lillard going to the Heat doesn't seem entirely impossible. In this mock trade here on screen, Damian Lillard goes to the Heat. In exchange, the Blazers get Carl Lowry's expiring deal, Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovic, back-to-back -back picks in the 2023 draft, this year being pick 18, 2024 as I said, and then also 2029, a long way in the future which will hold the most value out of anything in this deal, when Dame himself, the key player in this trade, will be around 37 years old. Now when you look at the Miami Heat, they've really pushed uh, this group you know, really far over these last few years, making the finals in 2020, uh, making the conference finals last year, and obviously the NBA finals uh, this year as well, uh, obviously defying all odds uh, in the finals runs both times and when you look at the Miami Heat uh, defensively that's what, what they're known for and where they're known for however during the regular season they were the sixth uh, worst offense in terms of offensive rating in the league so bringing in a guy like Damian Lillard who averages 32 points and seven rebounds alongside 37 percent from three could go a long way in helping their struggles on the offensive end as we know Jimmy Butler has been asked to do a lot for this team and with a pretty decent level of success has been able to do that. However, as we saw in the playoffs uh, last year, in the NBA Finals, there were times where he was asked to do too much and not having a second guy he could defer to in half-court sets and just in ball handling duties in general, it really forced him uh, into some you know, tough looks and it hurt the team's flow on the offensive end. So if you get Damian Lillard in, a guy who's proven that he can not only create for teammates, but create for himself, shoot the ball well on high volume, it'll really open up the team's offense as well. And it makes a lot of sense for the Miami Heat to do this and double down on this roster, which they have given a, a roster around Jimmy Butler, which they have given a good amount of time to. And it would come relatively cheaply, given that this core would be Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, Damian Lillard, while still having some key role players and ability to sign players with mid-level exceptions in the post uh, in the free agency period. Now, just a quick break. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And let's continue. Now, when you look at it from a Paul and Trailblazers perspective, getting Tyler Hero is a pretty impressive uh, option for them. He comes in uh, freshly signed off of a contract and he provides value to the team averaging around 20 points and you know really last year playing a great role off the bench and even this year being really important to the Miami Heat and being a big blow for them not playing in the NBA Finals. You get the draft flexibility, you get three first round picks for a guy who you probably have sat on for too long. Uh, if Portland would have traded him two to three years ago the value would have been a lot higher but the longer Portland wait, the lower the value will be. And then you get Kyle Lowry, who is an expiring deal. So depending on what Portland want to do for this upcoming season, he could come in and still play basketball at a decent level for them, coming off of a year where he averaged 11, 4, and 5. But failing that, they then have the rest of the guys like Anthony Simons and uh, Nurkic, who they could build around Simons on his own, who fits... Uh, probably better with someone else than Dame because of the defensive uh, side of the ball where, you know, they're both undersized and Dame has to do a lot of offense and Simons isn't necessarily strong on the defensive end just yet. Uh, he still has room to improve, but that's not his strong suit at the moment. And then Nurkic, who also would have some value for them to trade away. And they could focus on the core of young guys like Shadon Sharp, whoever they'll pick with pick three. Obviously, this video is under the assumption that they end up picking someone with pick three and it you know, upsets Damian Lillard. The last part of the trade I want to discuss, uh, if it were to happen, would be Nikola Jovic as he only turned 20 a couple weeks ago and shows signs of being a valuable rotational piece in the NBA. Now, NBA fans, Heat fans, Blazers fans, don't forget to comment what you thought. If you're a Heat fan, do you want to keep uh, Hero and Bam for the future? And uh, Blazers fans, do you think Dame will stick it out and you have enough time to rebuild around him? Comment what you thought, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It takes a couple seconds, it really helps me out. And also don't forget to like, and until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching.